Type 1 diabetes forms a spectrum. You simply cannot use existing mathematical techniques for the people who form the most unstable cohort within type 1. They need something special. And we agree with the We Are Not Waiting movement, which basically says, no, we can't afford to wait. We've got to build something that works now. So with existing pumps, existing CGM, existing insulins. Where we part company to some extent is that the key to all of this is the mathematics. So we're building the world's first genuinely machine intelligent artificial pancreas, appropriate for the people who need it most, that is people with highly unstable forms of type 1 diabetes who suffer from very high glycemic variability. What we are doing is we're achieving, uh, first of all, organ scale personalized medicine, machine learning that is uh, specific to each individual with type 1, and then a novel form of adversarial AI that is then able to design safe, stable, appropriate insulin strategies for the individual subject. In particular, we have designed a form of AI that is able to take a medical history comprised entirely of therapeutic failures and design a safe, stable, effective insulin strategy for that individual. I'm currently working on taking the uh, existing code base of Neuromathics and turning it into something that we can run uh, quickly and efficiently on edge devices so that this can be used in the real world in real time for people with diabetes. So these computations do need to be very efficient, very quick, and they need to make the most use of the processor that is available to them. We're the only people in the world who have designed these forms of machine learning and consequent AI. We hold a US patent and we have patents pending throughout the world. The time required to generate predictions is remarkably fast. For the IBM Watson AIX Prize in 2019, we demonstrated a number of world firsts. We had our adversarial AI generate in an isolated edge device 30 hours of insulin strategy in approximately 20 minutes of computing time and the IBM Watson AI X Prize did a, a deep due diligence on us in 2019 with a red judge embedded in our team to actually study our algorithms and ensure they did what we said they could do. And so we passed with flying colors and were listed in January 2020 as one of the AI X Prize's 10 semifinalists worldwide. My role as a red judge was to provide feedback on the uh, work of the Neuromatics team uh, to validate their artificial pancreas technology and to make recommendations for progression in, in the competition. The Neuromatics software eventually uh, made it to the semi-finals in this competition, which I think was a, a very good result considering the high number and high level of the uh, participating teams. Our form of adversarial AI has major advantages over GANs in that it operates in near real time. It can run on an isolated edge device uh, without any access to the internet or you know, additional computing resources. It's adaptive as well. So uh, it is aware of what it knows. It can recognize when the body of the patient is doing something that it doesn't expect. The net result is a strategy being recommended to the patient that has been pre-tested for its safety based on everything already known about that patient from the medical history. Another key aspect we have that which makes us unique with our form of AI is the whole thing is explainable. And if you're the patient and you look at the instant strategy for the morning and you say, actually, I don't like that, then unlike conventional AI, you can simply say that. You, you, you can program in that you want to change the insulin on board and the adversarial AI will get to work and design an, a new strategy. So we're not confined to the training data the way ordinary AI is confined. We're about to demonstrate in a clinical study being planned for Westmead Hospital, a fully explainable, interactive AI, achieving organ scale, personalized modeling of type one that's flexible and that advises a user in the loop to reduce the incidence and severity of adverse events, to transform quality of life in a novel way. We've been working with Neuromathics for a number of years uh, as they've been trying to develop formulas to match individuals more widely and particularly those with the more refractory 
problems of management of type 1 diabetes. My role as a clinician is identifying individuals who would be willing to trial new therapies and there are a lot of individuals under my care who uh, fit that bill who still have uh, refractory control. And I think this is a really exciting bench to bedside collaboration. And I'm really excited to see what it can achieve for people with type 1 diabetes. As a longer term plan, we are planning to deploy this as a technology, not just in a clinical setting, but for day to day life to restore control. Because ultimately, all of this is about transforming quality of life and restoring control for people with even the most unstable forms of type 1 so that type 1 is no longer a burden to them living their best lives.